Buenos dias, Virgin. Calling all Hoi4 gamers. There is a new Hoi4 A to Z. You're watching it. Good thing you answered the call to arm. Hello, my gravy babies, and welcome back to another episode of Hard Survive 4 A to Z, the series where we, uh, you know what the damn series is by now. And today we are making our way through the seas, and the sea we are on is Cuba. Now, someone did go ahead and make a Cuba mod, which they posted on my subreddit here. By the way, if you want to make any mods for nations coming up, feel free. I would like some curse ones coming up, and, um,. It's not like you can't predict where I'll be going with these mods. Uh, so the best place to contact me if you think there should be a mod for a country coming up is probably the subreddit or you can tweet me here and uh, you can follow my Instagram too if you want to see pictures of cats. I probably won't respond to hoi for modding there though. That's kind of weird bro, it's just cats. But yeah, today I won't be checking out that mod. But I do want to go ahead and give it a shout out because it has been made. But um, the, the reason we're not checking out that mod is because you've read the title. <laughs> we're doing something cursed today. Like I said in a previous video, I want to keep these Hoi 4 A to Z episodes fresh. So we'll be doing something different in every now and again. Some of them, sure, I'll be playing normally, but then others. We've got to unleash the memes. Ah, uh, Cuba. Bastion of democracy of the Caribbean. As you can see as Cuba, we start off with one state, a horse, and a man. But for the challenge today, we will be changing things up a bit, where we'll be having a bit of a small buff so we can get ready for the oncoming storm. So the little buff we'll be doing, and the only buff at that, will be simply getting these two down straight away so we can go ahead and build, because you can't do that normal. So yeah, there's, there's the console. We've Alex the rambler to the video oh my god so if you want to explain the challenge you could do this without the cheats but i want to make this uh, a bit more interesting <laughs> is uh when 1940 comes around we'll be declaring war on america and the whole point of the video is to survive uh, i don't plan on taking america for that seems um a bit unlikely but i do plan on keeping cuba secure in this world and alive so obviously in our defense we will need a lot of forts and a lot of forts really uh, also i imagine some uh, good aa will, will not go amiss either considering um i feel like we might get bombed quite badly now we do start off as a democracy which is not very cool bro we we really don't want to be a democracy and it's going to hinder how quickly we can actually flip to fascist or communist probably fascist this time around but um no, it'll be fascist. We, we need the manpower. Now, for our research, I am going straight into AA, and we are going down Mass Assault Darkroom for the simple fact it is the quickest one that gets you down to a population recruitment bonus. And uh, if I learned anything from playing Costa Rica, we need manpower. Oh, we are less than two years left, and so far we have just gotten started on the AA, pretty much almost done. Then we've got the naval force, which is going to be the most important part because we only have two VPs on this island, Guantanamo and Havana. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that whole Guantanamo Bay type deal, as Paradox haven't seen fit to put it in the game, which means we only have to worry about naval invasions. And a little bit late on flipping our ideology, but there you go, we finally managed to do it in 1938, which isn't too good but we did spend our time fixing the rest of our country up by going down the doctrine path and all of our infrastructure and ideas thingy uh, which means now we can go down the fun path of political effort will we get there in time probably not uh so I haven't fixed up the army yet though uh, i was waiting till we flip so we can get some better manpower and uh, up our mobilization but um <laughs> we can't we can't even do that because we don't have enough war support so we're in our final month right now and as soon as it ticks over to 1940 we will be joining Germany's faction and joining the war. Of course, America won't be in it straight away, but they will be joining at some point, but will obviously still be a war of the Allies, and, um... Hopefully this is good enough. Uh, the defense so far is only naval forts on our ports, which is the most important part, and our units are looking too fresh. Um, our biggest defense is our AA, which... Should hopefully hold out against the bombing and the cat. But I am pretty confident we can get way more units out. And this should be easy breezy until we run out of supply. Which, um, we've got a lot of supply. So we should be fine. Not a single tile will be lost to the allies in this war. Even though Havana is guarded by <laughs> not a lot. But anyway, Germany, let me in. There we go, January 1st, 1940. 
Will we survive? So of course we are only at war with the UK so far and I already have a dangerous naval invasion over here. Why am I getting alerted to this? A uh, big problem is we do not have any stability or war support so I'm assuming mutinies won't be far off but so far we seem pretty okay against the UK. I don't know, I assume they don't have any naval invasion set against me anyway so for now we're biding our time. Look at that. Cuba lasted longer than Denmark. Cuba is better than Denmark. We made it all the way to 1941 and not a single Cuban has fallen to this war. In fact, I think everyone might have forgotten we're even in it. But I was wondering if I put myself in a deficit of fighters, if the AI will then lose them. I'm not too sure if they will or they even have any fighters to spare, but we're going to give it a go because I've got nothing else to do right now other than hear the damn naval invasion sound of the AJMC. So how we're going to do this is I've got two little fighter squadrons here and uh, I require 1,000 planes for them. So the AI sees that I have minus 2,000 planes. And then I'm just going to politely ask the Germans if they have, they will give me some plaid. No, there we go. We got our, <laughs> got our loot. <laughs> uh, since we can't, did we just go straight to bar? Yeah, we did. They're all the Soviets straight away. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much. Uh, because I can't do any uh, war propaganda, we're kind of stuck at 22% war support, which means we can never go up in our mobilization or our recruitment, which is going to be a bit troublesome if we ever need to. There we go. <laughs> Even the Japanese are helping out the Cuban effort. And... Yep, America's in the war! Everyone hide! You know, again, no one is yet to bomb me. I do have five AA here, which is definitely something, but... Everyone has seemingly forgot what I- wait! Manchuria! Uh... Thanks. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. As soon as the Americans joined, the action has kicked up. We got our first invasion at Guantanamo, <laughs> which is quite funny. Our German fighters just showed up, at least. We are still missing the other, like, uh, a thousand or so we need. 1,900, anyone? Gonna turn out their pocket? Now, it's a bit of a long shot, but if we can just keep stealing our allies' planes, uh, we won't have to worry about building them ourselves, and we can try to get some naval bombers out. So if uh, convoys ever come by, such as naval invasions, we can kind of put them out and bomb them a bit, which should give us a bit more protection. There you go, the great coalition of fighter planes really um, got quite the selection here. Oh god, a good thing about having low stability in war support is that we do get the draft crisis, which has put us up a little bit in war support, so can we go up to oh my god partial mobilization whoop de doo so far though we are easily holding the us keeps naval invading down here every now and again but they're not even breaking our level 10 naval fort which is holding them back pretty easy now uh, yeah, i'm really hoping that the germans actually pull something off with the soviets and we win this easy peasy but um it ain't looking easy peasy over here oh my god okay that is a proper naval invasion uh it looks like we're gonna hold easy peasy though it is just the british and i should probably get around to building more forts around the country not just on the port oh i didn't even think about this one how is somebody justifying i mean i'm with all the traders right americans Go home! Uh, the, the naval invasions are pretty much endless now i'm hearing this naval invasion alert every five seconds <laughs> Will I go insane by the end of this video? Probably. Oh, no. Okay, D-Day has kicked off, and I uh, don't think they're gonna beat the Soviets in time. I mean, maybe. We might still be in with some luck here, and they are pushing down in the Suez, too, but uh, we gotta we gotta pray for a miracle here. And uh, why am I praying for the Germans to win World War? Oh, uh, we have gone ahead and started our development of our missile sites. Uh, we're gonna have to keep upgrading these, and uh, hopefully... <laughs> We'll send some to Washington. It is super annoying. I can't do any war propaganda, which is, um, it's kind of, it's hurting us quite a bit considering we're still impartial, but, um, no, it just sucks. It sucks dick. Ah, oh, sweet. We just got an extra 10% on war support for simply taking an attaché to the Germans who are at war with the Soviets, because I haven't joined that war, which is, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, still not high enough for us to go to war economy, though. That's, um, uh, also it's by requirement. <laughs> so it's great, really. The uh, big problem is, though, that if the Germans capitulate and lose the war, because when we're not a major power, we also will lose the war. We can't leave this faction, which is gonna be a problem. But, uh, I got faith, guys. You, you guys got this. <laughs> As you can see, my air force has grown considerably. 
don't think there's many Cuban planes in here, but uh, who needs Cuban planes when you got everyone else's plane? I'd say I'd be, I'm a bit of a hindrance to the war effort, but um, I think the AI is its own hindrance to the war effort. Ah, uh, great. Okay, so the push over here in uh, the Middle East has gone tits up because the Turkish has joined the Allies. Great! If you could just uh, hurry up over here, Germany, and just win the war, that'd be great. Just hurry it up, please. I joined the war with the Soviets just to see if war propaganda would come back from the abyss, but no. It will never reappear. Wondering how it's going in Cuba. Yep. Still hear that damn alarm every five seconds. Uh, helping out the Germans by sending my stolen air force over to go fight the Soviets. Well. Almost got new. All right, so I think the Axis will at least beat the Soviets, and D-Day has been stalled pretty badly, so we might be okay here. Fingers crossed. Also, Japan is just sucking so bad this time around. They have not beaten China, and China's even pushed them out of <laughs> Indochina, so it's not looking too good. And I don't think we're ever going to beat the Allied Air Force, considering... There's a lot of it. Oh god, <laughs> the rockets are ready. Oh, we've uh, researched nuclear bombs, which is... I don't know where we're gonna be able to use them, but when there's a will, there's a way. Here comes the nukes, baby. Uh, so... This is a bit awkward. Uh, right, so... May or may not have accidentally... not hit the record button for about Six years in game. If you're wondering what happened, Joni didn't do too well. Uh, Cuba did all right though. Uh, of course, we only just lost because of the Germans, but we are now free. We were a puppet government, um, or a what are they called? A, a little democracy installing government, you know. So we got free pretty easy. But but yeah, we did survive uh, pretty easy at that. I do want to say, and um, the war with Japan. It's still going on. Uh, now, of course, because we actually didn't lose anything, we just got capitulated because Germany did. Um, did the challenge count as a loss, especially since you didn't see the four years of me sitting here doing nothing? Probably not. I guess there's only one thing we can really do now. <laughs> it's just flipped immediately because I already had so much communism. <laughs> That's right. REVOLUTIONARY CUBA! I am really annoyed that I lost a lot of footage. Um, it is pretty much half of the game, but, uh, I won't let that stomp because now the challenge just got real. I gotta say, 1950s hoy hits very differently. I gotta say though, Joni capitulating did come with some benefits, alright? I will, I will never take you both for granted ever again. So you may be wondering what the plan is. It's pretty simple. We wait for everyone to seal stomp Japan into the ground and then we declare war on America. Uh, I would do it right now, but I can't leave the faction while we're at war together, so I'm gonna do that, then I'll join the Soviet Union, declare war on America, and start World War 3. Although I guess this is kind of World War 3, because World War 2 ended a while back, but uh, they're still not giving in. I think it's a little late for us to get the uh, Japanese capitulation event, but um, it does feel good using those nukes. Ah, uh, yes. The time Cuba knocked Japan out of the war. I only got one nuke left though, and it does take me a while to get a maid, so <laughs> I feel like that was worth it. Oh, there you go. The war has ended by a Cuban nuclear strike. Uh, which means I am going to yeet us out of the Allies immediately and join my new best friend, Mr. Stalin. Uh, technically, Mr. Stalin, we were on different sides of World War II. I was with the Germans, you know, but uh, I doubt you even remember that because my, my input was so insignificant. Oh, we might not actually even have to start the war. I think Britain might do it for us. Oh, the Russians kind of ruined that one. They just declared war on Poland and uh, now Getting invaded everywhere? I mean, I, I guess they're kind of winning over here in Asia, but... Not everywhere. But... It's time. Right, first things first, <laughs> we're sending the missiles to Washington. Go! <laughs> Unleash my pretty... Nuke Jamaica. <laughs> now, now, technically, uh, Jamaica is owned by the US because they did the ports for destroyers or whatever. So I just nuked America and I'm also rocketing America at the same time, by looks. We finally got those naval bombers out too. We've only got 400 or 500, so I've only put 400 out at, uh, just in case. And uh, we'll try and <laughs> get some boats sunk, but we just lost 22 right there. It's not going to last very long. 
get wrecked. We just sunk two American carriers. I mean, they're, they're quite old, but I don't care. <laughs> That's a win. Battleship? California? You know, weirdly enough, the one thing I keep catching <laughs> is Mexican <laughs> battle. Like, why do you have heavy cruisers? Three more and the pride of the fleet. Does that mean you just took a big stability hit? Which one is it? There you go, minus 10%. Oh my god, there's another one. We are absolutely demolishing them. Not at only at sea, but also on land as they try to naval invade me with not very good units. We're not just sinking the old ones, we're sinking the new ones too. I think I checked a while back, they had between 7 and 14, so they must have started pretty high because i've got about five carriers so far i'm gonna have to hold off on the bomb for a while now because we are running out of naval bombers we're doing a lot of damage but we don't have a lot of bombers and we cannot really build them at all it's a little awkward my old ally is now repeatedly naval invading havana another wall with the power of paratrooping we are conquering right oh your islands all belong to cuba i've been trying to get to an angle for ages where i can actually reach this damn island but we did it we've stolen some oil I, I was too busy with the oil i didn't realize the germans finally landed like i'm panicking about losing one little tower there if you look at the soviet union it could be worse now, you know i may have lost 45,000 cubans here throughout the naval invasions and like the paratrooping but the americans I've killed 164,000 of them. And you know, an extra 100,000 Germans too. That's pretty impressive. Well, while we did do a lot of damage, unfortunately, the Soviets capitulated and the war's over. But once again, we've been dragged into the Allies <laughs> against our will. I like how they take away my entire army, but they um, they don't get rid of my, my Air Force, which was probably their biggest bane after I bombed all those warships into the sea. But yeah, I guess that's where we're going to end the challenge uh, i felt like going a bit longer considering i lost that damn footage and this has actually gone on for hours probably like a good eight hours now i've been playing this damn game uh, so yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below this was the cuba challenge um definitely wasn't too much of a challenge to hold it but it was pretty fun it was definitely pretty fun uh, yeah until next time guys uh we're gonna go ahead and alt f4